While Airbus and Qatar Airways have a court date set in 2023 over carbon composite defects on some of their state-of-the-art Airbus A350s, a problem which not only causes the A350's paint and composite material to chip away from the aircraft, especially on the wings, but it also damages the aircraft's lightning protection system. However, Boeing is also experiencing similar problems on their carbon composite Dreamliners, which caused viral concern recently when reports of 787s being held together by duct tape began to surface all around the world in viral Twitter and internet posts back in October. But tired of being the butt of considerable jokes over duct tape holding their Dreamliners together, this week Boeing submitted a proposal to the US FAA for approval for a permanent fix for repairing the composite skin defects on the Dreamliner. And while Airbus is still scratching their heads about how to fix their A350s, Boeing is ready to get to work repairing the Dreamliner as soon as the FAA gives them the go-ahead. That's next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Well, as some of you may recall, in October I released a video over viral reports of Boeing 787 Dreamliners the world over being flown seemingly held together by duct tape, especially on the wings. And truth be told, these were not urban legends, but were in fact true images of Boeing 787s. Boeing was indeed repairing chipping and flaking paint on the wings of Dreamliners with duct tape. Okay, it wasn't actually duct tape, it's called aluminum speed tape. But while I thought duct tape sounded funnier than speed tape, there was no shortage of comments on that video calling my mental health into question because I was calling it duct tape instead of speed tape. And honestly, I'm pretty sure duct tape would work just as well. Because as we all know, you can fix anything with duct tape. But as I was saying, Boeing did indeed acknowledge that they were employing the use of speed tape as a stopgap measure to keep more paint from flying off the wings of all their carbon composite 787s. And while it certainly isn't a good look, speed tape is completely safe. As a matter of fact, speed tape was specifically designed for use on airplanes and airliners. 3M, the company that makes the speed tape, says it's able to withstand winds of over 600 miles per hour and is rated from minus 65 degrees to over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also moisture, flame, chemical, and UV ray resistant. According to aviation expert John Nance, the tape is primarily deployed when weathering has caused a part of the aircraft to be exposed to the airstream. The plane is safe to fly, but the airline wants to prevent further weathering until it can repair the part, Nan said. However, of course, he said it's not something that will be used to hold together two parts of an airplane. He said the tape application is an issue usually involving the aircraft's skin. He said because you don't want anything peeling back further that might already have started peeling back. However, Nance added that airlines don't want to use it any more than they have to, especially where it's visible to passengers, for a number of reasons, mostly because it looks unsafe and ridiculous. And that's exactly why Boeing this week is asking the FAA to speed up their approval to a permanent fix to the situation. And let's face it, the viral images of 787 wings covered in duct tape were yet another embarrassment for the embarrassment-prone manufacturer. According to Boeing's filing with the FAA, they state that operators of 787 aircraft have experienced paint peeling issues on the upper and lower surfaces of the wing and horizontal stabilizer due to exposure to ultraviolet radiation. In their filing, Boeing says they have provided interim service information to support continued operation, but the short-term fix involves repeated use of duct tape, uh, speed tape, over the affected areas. Even though the use of speed tape has no effect on the safety of the airplane, the public could perceive an unsafe condition when seeing tape on the wing surfaces. Boeing said, in addition, the paint peeling issue requires the operators to repaint the wing and horizontal stabilizer at a much higher frequency. Since the repaint for UV damage also requires removal of the UV damage material by sanding, there is an increased risk of collateral copper foil lightning protection damage and subsequent repair, further increasing the cost and downtime of the more frequent repainting. 
But Boeing tells the FAA in their filing that they have developed a paint system revision to address this paint peeling issue by incorporating a layer of ultraviolet blocking black top coat in between the primer and the white top coat and by increasing the total allowed exterior finish thickness. And the black color has an increased absorptivity of UV radiation relative to the existing paint scheme. This change must be assessed for the impact to fuel tank lightning ignition prevention. Like the changes discussed above, there are several compliance deficiencies delaying completion of this design change project. Thus, an exemption is needed to allow timely incorporation of this fleet significant maintenance solution to minimize the airplane fleet burden. But the question I have for both Boeing and Airbus is how the heck did you miss this in the development of these aircraft? It's not like carbon composites are new. Well, they're new to commercial aviation, but they've been in use in defense aircraft since the 70s. And why both companies' engineers didn't foresee this situation is a real head-scratcher. But at least Boeing has come up with a solution that seems quite logical. As for Airbus, they still remain quiet on what their fix is. Boeing has also asked the FAA for approval of other design changes, including adding cap seals over the nuts of certain 787 wing skin fasteners because certain combinations could lead to ignition sources in the fuel tank. The FAA, which said it would carefully review Boeing's petition, in August approved the first 787 for delivery since 2021. Boeing halted deliveries in May of 2021 after the FAA raised concerns about its proposed inspection method. So it sounds like Boeing has their Dreamliner problem figured out, but Airbus still has a way to go on their A350 issues. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. Hey, but before we go, I want to thank some supporters of the channel. David T. Dennis. Gregory L. Beach. Artifact. Jeffrey Kaplan and Uncle Lester. Thank you for your support through the Buy Me A Coffee app. Also, if you want, you can click on that thanks button to support the channel that way too. But the best and always free way to support the channel is simply to subscribe, like, share and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah. This is Maximus.